There's a lot to play in Wild. Pirate Rogue's good. Miracle Rogue's good. Stuff that beats those decks is good. Okay. If I get an, yet another Reno Priest, I'm in trouble. Oh, good. We finally got a Rogue. Okay, so this is how I hit Legend, basically. First minion played costs one less. That definitely is favored towards me. Yeah, I, I, I don't think it's an unfortunate meta at all, to be completely honest. I'm going to keep the Shield Shatter, and that's it. I want to see a Buckler. Bladestorm is awesome. Skipper is great. Odin nerf reverted. Real. This is great for Miracle Rogue. Yeah, I was going to say, I don't know how many metas... Like, this is a deck that wasn't that isn't anywhere on a meta report. Okay, good. We have a good way to activate the Shield Shatter. We're in good shape. This deck is nowhere near a meta report, and I went 26 and 11 with it at 11x. Like, this is not the worst meta in the world. Okay, yeah. This is, this is looking pretty juicy right now. So we're going to wait for opponent to prove how patient or not patient they are and go from there. What's going on, Egads? Cool. Don't care. Neat. Okay. Opponent can afford to be patient. I can afford to be patient. They're going to sell out on a board at some point. Go from there. There we go. When they sell out on a board, I'm gonna clean their clean their house. I don't think that's a hot take. Is this Garot? No, this is not Garot. This is a pack Miracle Rogue. So they're trying to make zero mana gnolls with um, with uh, twisted pack. And then after having done that, um, they spam a bunch of small spells and play 8-8 eight, eight Giants for free. Oh, man, they could have had a... Ooh, Evocation would have been really good for them, too. I'm going to clean this out with a Buckler, I think. Um, do I want to draw two cards, or do I want to leave it bay? I'm going to draw two cards. I think this is fine. If I need to, I can go in on a skipper turn and draw some Light of the Phoenix, but it's fine. Yeah, Garot looks more like Pirate Rogue, um, but it has a pretty sick finish at the end. Okay, this, yeah, this is Miracle Rogue. Okay. Uh, are you committing the Charger? Okay, cool. I want them to step this a little bit more, so I'm going to rope-a-dope them a little bit for one more turn, especially with the second Risky Skipper pickup. Um, there's no reason not to. I'm I'm in a perfectly acceptable position. Nobody's playing Lotheb. Even if they do play Lotheb, I just Skipper Barov, and we're good to go. I saw that for you, Egads. I, I'm, I'm excited for you. Yeah, this has the feelings of a Skipper Barov clear, to be completely honest. And then if they want to do more giant stuff against me, that's fine. Bonk. Bonk. Okay, they did draw another minion, right? No? Okay. Cool. I can still go in on a skipper turn too. Pack is interesting because pack can cause some problems for me personally. They can get a scam from pack that I have to be wary of, but once that's kind of broken up and used up, um, that's the only threat I'm really worried about. Sure. That's why we have this. Sure. Don't care. Okay. 
I guess I could have coined the armor smith, but I'm not really in a hurry. It's it's good skipper fuel. So we've seen both arcane giants at this point. Um, they still have a break dance. They're probably going to have to do something with Zeph if they're going to threaten me. Yeah, but guys, don't... Control's dead and wild, though. Control's dead. Control's dead. You can't play Control. Control doesn't exist. Uh, this is a dead card. I'm going to go in on a skipper turn. Get a bunch of armor. Yeah, they fucking died a long time ago. Cool. Cool. All right. Well, let's see Zephyrs beat this. I'd be really interested. Cool. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah, you can do that. Neat. I think I might have gained health on that interaction. I did? Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> Average wild player. Cool. We're trying to cook my new Leroy John and ended with this. Oh, dear God. Okay. Why not? Okay, what is Zeph give in this situation? Are you going to pyroblast me? <clears throat> Shield Shatter gets rid of most of this. Bladestorm gets rid of the rest of it. I am left a little bit stranded. With not a lot left to do, but my opponent also kind of is out of gas. So we're in this interesting situation where I do this, and then I do this, and then I do this, and I just sort of like... I'm going to save this for Finley Fuel, and then I just sort of like chip him down little by little, I guess. I could fizzle then Finley. You remove jungle giants because it sucked. That seems like a pretty good reason to remove jungle giants, to be completely honest with you. And also seems in keeping with what I have found to be the case. More often than not. Yeah, jungle giants does suck. Okay. Do you have this in a bigger size? Okay. Do I have a way to activate these? No. A little awkward. Oh, I should have... I should have... Ah, we have a frozen buckler. It's fine. Let's go get my snapshot. Okay. It's got to trade into me, which is funny. Okay, and you're going toward fatigue faster? That's great. I need you to go toward fatigue as fast as possible. My favorite competitive wild player? Ah, I don't know about competitive. I don't know about competitive. <laughs> In real life. <laughs> You're not actually high legend. That's so perfect. It's so true. It's so true, fams. Thank you. All right. Are they going to trade off the Finley? No is great for me if they don't trade off the Finley. <laughs> they gave me armor. <laughs> All right, it's going to be fine. Raxus was like, Shmoopy, why do you have the frozen bucklers? I just like the frozen bucklers. Yeah. 
I like the two mana Pyro Blast. I like him so much, I should have waited to fizzle him, to be completely honest. So I kind of fucked that part up, but eh, it works. Okay, let's see this cook. 